So spring's coming up, and if you're a turkey hunter and wanna kill your Grand Slam, here are the four subspecies you're gonna need to do it. So first off, what is a Grand Slam? Well, if you're a turkey hunter, you know that there's multiple subspecies of wild turkey, and the Grand Slam is made up of four subspecies in North America, the Eastern, the Osceola, the Merriams, and the Rio Grande. The most popular subspecies for turkey hunters is the Eastern. The Eastern supports a larger range and more hunting opportunities than all of the other subspecies combined, making them a favorite among turkey hunters. Their tail fan contains chocolate brown tail feathers with chestnut brown covert feathers. The Eastern is really known for its long, full, thick beard and sharp spurs, varying in length depending on the terrain. Easterns are known for having the loudest gobble of all subspecies, earning it a five out of five on strength. Easterns are also the largest of all the subspecies, weighing in at 18 to 26 pounds. This is the Eastern wild turkey. The Osceola hunting experience is unlike any other as they inhabit only the Florida Peninsula. Their tail fan consists of dark chocolate brown tips on the tail feathers and chestnut brown covert feathers. Their beard is thinner and generally shorter than those of Easterns. Their gobble strength is average, just under that of the Eastern. But what truly makes Osceola's unique is their long, thin, razor-sharp spurs as a result of the softer terrain they inhabit. The Osceola is the smallest of all subspecies with an average weight of 16 to 20 pounds. This is the Osceola wild turkey. The Rio Grande inhabits the arid, open terrain of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Rio Grandes have an average weight of 18 to 22 pounds. Their tail fan contains copper-colored tips on the tail feathers and yellow buff-tipped covert feathers. Their beard length is generally average, just under that of an eastern. Their spurs are moderate in length with rounded tips worn down by the arid climates and rocky terrain they inhabit. They have a mid-range gobble with just a two and a half out of five in strength. In the relatively treeless expanse of West Texas, Rios have been reported to roost on power lines, windmills, and even oil tanks. This is the Rio Grande wild turkey. The Merriam's wild turkey is known to inhabit primarily the Rocky Mountain regions. Their tail fans have snow white tips on both the tail feathers and the covert feathers. Their beard is often thin, wispy, and short due to the rugged mountain terrain they inhabit. For the same reason, their spurs are often short and rounded as they're worn down by terrain. They're notoriously weak and gobble with just a one out of five strength and a notoriously higher pitch. Merriams are the second largest of all the subspecies weighing in at 18 to 24 pounds. This is the Merriams wild turkey. All these subspecies are unique, but what really makes them unique is the different terrain that they inhabit. From the swamps of Florida to the Rocky Mountains to West Texas and the hardwoods of Pennsylvania, the wild turkey covers almost all of America. It's one of our greatest conservation stories, and it's one of the reasons that hunters really love to chase their Grand Slam. So I would highly encourage you to do it for the experience more than anything. If you really love the Grand Slam, I'd encourage you to check out our line of paper prints at ryankirby.com. Um, I've spent months illustrating, animating, and compiling information that's accurate and also cool to look at. So it makes a great hunt camp piece. You can get those at ryankirby.com.